So over here, you can see that I have a database. And if I were to go around over here and then add in, let's say, for example, a short text, then there's a field. So I can uh, rename this to name right here. And similarly, you can go around over here and add in another thing. Let's say, for example, this is going to be phone number. And that's another data type right here, just like this. So you can go around right here. And this is a table that you have. And there's another way to work around with uh, the table as well. And to do that, you, you can go around into view on the top and you can click over here and go to design view. So once you do that, it asks you if you want to rename uh, the table as something else. So I'm just going to say uh, this is design table right here. So I'm just going to rename this out, press OK. And the table has been renamed, as you can see right here. So now you can see what type of data this table actually has. So you can see that this table has an ID, which is an auto number. So I'm just going to say a uh, person ID right here to make it more specific. And over here, you can see that the data has a short text and a phone number, which is in number format. So you can go around and choose different type of um, uh, data types from over here as well. So let's say you want to uh, change this out into a long text. You can do that over here as well. And let's say you want to add in a date of birth right here. You can go around over here and then change this out into date and time, as you can see right here. So let's say you want uh, to have a profile link right here. So I'm just going to add in profile link. You can go around and then you can choose hyperlink over here. So you can go over here and add in description to the data type as well. Let's say, for example, you want to uh, add in a description, uh, um, some something like add um, uh, your link to social media profile, just like this, then what happens is that this pops up in the description. So you know that this is for the social media. So you can manage out the different types of fields right here. And then you can manage out the data types. And if you were to go around over here on the view and data sheet view, uh, it says, do you want to save the table now? You can say yes. And what happens is that it gets updated and you can see those fields right here in the link, as you can see right here. So you can go around, add in values over here and then work around with this just like this. And you know, like what these are over here. So you can see the phone number right here. You can see the profile link and so forth. You can also go around onto the top and on the tab, you can click on uh, data seed view or design view. You can go around into the design view from over here, or you can also uh, right click over here and go to design view as you can see from over here. So you can right click, you can go to data seed view, you can right click from over here, then you can go around into design view and see how this actually works out. So that is how you can work around with table design view inside of Access to view the details about your data uh, inside of your Access database. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.